All right, well, it finally warmed up a good bit. Thank goodness. I'm kind of tired of all these water main breaks, leaving not even freezing precipitation, but you know what? In general, water main breaks. Eh. It tends to be frozen. All right, 57 is what we're sitting at right now. Nothing but clear skies. Look at this. Winds are nice and calm, too. And finally, our humidity is up. My hand stopped cracking a little bit back. I'll take it. You know what? We're also warming up, too. So back to finally average conditions. 15 degrees warmer out of Midland, 18 out of Odessa. Look at this. New Mexico, 20 degrees warmer in Carlsbad, 22 in Hobbs. I'm not going to complain about that. We are starting to see an influx of more moisture coming in from the south. This is going to be bringing in our next little rain system, kind of coming in overnight tonight, mostly into tomorrow. Here's what I'm kind of expecting. Overnight temperatures, look at this. A lot warmer than average, more 40s. Now you're probably wondering why is that? Well, we got a lot more cloud cover. 44 for Midland, Odessa, Big Spring, 47 for Big Lake, Ozona, 50 for Fort Stockton. Well, they tend to be an outlier, so that's okay. Unfortunately, while these warmer temperatures are nice, it might not be the best kind of travel day. Then again, this morning wasn't easy either. Headlights on. You got that morning fog. We got drizzly conditions. Your wipers are going to be needed and you got the to get that defroster going. We got high humidity, of course. So here's what we're kind of tracking for our Tuesday temperatures about what they are right now. 58. I do have about a 40% chance of rain. More of that's going to be kind of very scattered. It's what I call West Texas rain. You get a little spit, a little drizzle here and there, and then you're done. It's enough to wet the roads, and that's going to be about it. So let's time it out. You start to see a lot of the stuff starting to come in, mostly around El Paso. Most of it ends up missing us going out to Lubbock, but then we start to see that low pressure spinning around a little bit, picking up a couple little stronger showers, maybe even a little isolated rumble of thunder, but I'm not really expecting anything like that. That's going to be happening later in the evening. Again, it's going to be hit or miss. Not everyone's going to get to see a whole lot of this. Wednesday, some of that kind of lasts into the early parts of the morning, and then it's done. Can we expect much rain? No. When do we actually expect a whole lot of rain? Not this time of year, I'll tell you that. Maybe a few hundredths of an inch. Hey, if we're lucky, we'll get about a tenth of an inch. Some of these models are going for two tenths of an inch out of Fort Stockton, three tenths out of Marfa and Alpine, but I'm not really expecting a whole lot of that. So. We do see these temperatures staying pretty steady. Small chances of rain for our Wednesday. It clears out for Thursday, comes back a little bit on Saturday. Then a cold front actually comes through. Is it big? No, we dropped like five degrees. That's it. The only thing you're going to notice is those overnight low temperatures getting close to freezing. But you know what? I think we're done with that, at least for now. Jolino.